Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again, although we're painting on the computer. Bum bum bum. Yeah, so recently I've been doing a lot of uh, computer art and the reason is I've been creating this. <laughs> yeah, it's my first kid's book, uh, picture book that I've uh, written and illustrated all by me. Uh, that's why you haven't seen me on the uh, old YouTube. Because <laughs> I had to, like, to get a project like that done, I needed to, like, shut down completely and just do it. I mean, I've been going to work. <laughs> Still living my life, but I've not been doing any painting other than pretty much that. That's all I've really been doing. Um, I've started another one as well. I really like... Uh, the idea of being a storyteller, a kid's book storyteller, it's fun, I enjoy it. Anyway, so I'm, I've got a few ideas that I'm working on, and one of them, um, it's, got, it's a little magical, <laughs> and I really like this tree, so I was going to practice painting this tree on the computer, and then uh, when I design my own tree, I've got ideas from painting this tree. <laughs> it's one of the uh, ways. And I'll show you a little bit of what, how I do um, computer art. Computer art. Hey, computers. Computers. It's how I started doing art, actually, computers. And uh, when I... Uh, Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Don't like that. Let's start again. Let's, uh... I'm not necess necessarily doing it the same because, uh... <laughs> I'm not going to do it the same because... Thinking, Jason, think. So, f painting and thinking, it's hard to do. Talking and painting. So I just uh, pick that, just to see what colour it is, and then I'll just put it in. And then I can change things as I go. It don't really matter too much. Because you can change everything. Everything is changeable. And that's what I like about um, doing this as well. And I needed everything to be changeable because uh, <laughs> when I was doing my, my book, and uh, I uh, will say my book a lot in this video, when I was doing my book, <laughs> um, yeah, I noticed, uh, well... I didn't notice. I did make a lot of mistakes. Uh, first, I didn't do the the <laughs> the sizes right. The uh, the sizes I did were wrong. You know, because when when you're uh, publishing a book, it needs to have a bleed room, and the bleed room is to stop your book. Um, so when they cut this book, basically, you have to have a bigger size all the way round. So when they cut it, they don't cut like this blue and then you end up with a white border around it, basically. So you need your images to be bigger than the actual page. Well, I didn't realise how important that was, to be honest. <laughs> Turns out it is very important so we got a basic shape going there I like it I'm going to put in a background do we have this kind of a background I quite like green there 
I also quite like the idea of everything being dark behind this tree. What's that look like? That's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. That's the funny thing when you when you pick colours. Look at that. That is even lighter than the other other colour that I picked. But on here, look how dark it looks. <laughs> uh, it does amaze me. Colours. I'm still amazed. I think I've done thousands of paintings in various media and I'm still amazed <laughs> I'm still like a forever beginner I am a forever beginner don't think I'll ever become a master I'm always learning that's what makes you keep doing it though isn't it you learn a little bit more Oh, my fish tank lights are going out. I actually tried to make a video the other day, but unfortunately, it crashed. My computer crashed. So I'm trying to film. I'm just creating a clipping mask. If you know about Photoshop, a clipping mask will mean that the color that I use will stay within this tree. Whoa, that's dark. What did I want this for, anyway? <laughs> what did I pick this colour for, anyway? I can't remember. I've actually painted this tree uh, before in real life. Like, I've actually sat down in the leaves and sat there and painted this tree with my oils. And uh, when I stood up, I had bugs all over me. <laughs> all kinds of weird looking bugs as well. Luckily, I didn't get bitten that day. You know, it's like if you're out there in the woods painting some of the things in the trees like to bite. Especially the mosquitoes. The dreaded mosquitoes. They certainly do like to bite. I think I've talked about what happened to me once. <laughs> when I got covered in mosquitoes. Dun dun dun. What a nightmare. Yeah, you know, trees. I do like trees. I, I've always liked trees, though. They're they're interesting, aren't they? I mean, they've been there for such a long time. It amazes me. So yeah, we've got all different colours. Start start building up on the tree. I'm, I'm sort of. Um, editing out stuff really when I'm doing this as well certain colours maybe I won't use I do like this hole in the tree I think this is what amazed me when I first saw it when I first walked down there I was like god oh, that looks ace It was like this, uh, this hole that looks really cool. It's almost like it's growling, isn't it? Make it a bit bigger on our picture. Just having a look, I see a little 
little dark area. Once, once I'm using one colour, I tend to use it on everything that I can see with that one colour. Quite like that. to break the uh, the shape I think oh, then again I do like the shape I like the shape of my tree it's different to the uh, shape of the tree on the picture that's another thing you have to remember is you're doing your picture and you don't have to do it the same I mean no one's paying me to paint this <laughs> no one cares if I'd paint it different if it's going to be in a story and this illustration is going to be like background painting it doesn't matter does it well I'm going to go darker behind. Let's see what this looks like. I'm not going to go solid darkness. I'm going to keep this texture going. I do want it to be a bit darker, just so... Uh, So my tree looks a bit better. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've got a few uh, book ideas on the go. Um, I've got a, a fantasy one. <laughs> I've got the idea that... <laughs> funny thing is, I came up with this book idea um, years ago before I even knew how to oil paint or paint in general this book idea I had was the reason I started drawing because I really wanted to do it and I couldn't seem to get myself to do it though I felt like I had a boundary <laughs> stopping myself from doing anything like what if it doesn't work what if no one likes it what if uh, you know all the what ifs that come into your head what if you don't sell a copy what if and you got to push all that away and just go for it if that's what you want to do just do it But you have to really push yourself. That's the big uh, learning thing that happened when I did uh, did my book. When I did my book, <laughs> is I learned that I need to really push myself to do things. Really work hard to get it done. All right, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. some branches we need some branches I think I'm going to use some of this color to change the uh, shape of that as well I'm going to darken this bit down here, down there. Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, we need branches coming off. Definitely need some branches. It's what's gonna make the difference between being something a little boring to something a little more interesting. <laughs> Is that true? I don't know. But I do like to paint branches in. You get them everywhere, don't you? Everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Some of them don't get a great deal of light on them. See how I could pull that branch to there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like that branch. Colors that. You don't have to uh, pick colors like I just did there. You can just make your own up. Doesn't really matter. So that's what I do sometimes. Sometimes I pick the colour and go, oh yeah, I quite like that anyway. And sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll go, well, I know better than nature. <laughs> Ooh. I know better. I'll pick what I want. Yeah, let's have a look at that. I quite like that. It's coming on. It's coming on. So the ground. Do we want some background trees? I feel like I do now. Problem is we've mixed everything up now. <laughs> we haven't kept the layers very well. Never mind. Let's see what happens if I go. We're all right because the branch is uh, on a, a separate layer. Mm. Got a tree there. I'm gonna make it disappear a little bit using some of these leaves. So I'm really just going for shape here, shape, rather than anything else. Got that tree there going. We'll go with some more of this green. Sort of a blue, more of a bluey green, that. Do I put a little bit of this here? It does quite, look quite good, doesn't it? very dark. Let's break this. Let's have 
some leaves in front. Oh, there goes, look. Uh, I quite like that. Few of these leaves in there. Um, I like that bit of sun that goes. But I'm trying to hold back on stuff like that at the moment because I haven't fully worked out where I want my sun to actually go. Because. I haven't chosen yet. I haven't made that decision. Decision. Here we go. A few varieties of colours here. There we go. That's the lightest, I think. Yeah. There we go. Um. Yeah, we haven't got any small branches. Oh, it's making me fall asleep doing this. <laughs> it's relaxing, actually. going there as well. I feel like that should be a bit darker there. There we go, something like that. Uh, yeah, I'll do. Uh, let's put in some bigger leaves and use that green to start bushing this out here. See how you can sort of build this up. What colour is that like? Should be a bit darker, I think. Yeah. That's nice. you can choose the way that you want yours to look if you want yours to be lighter or darker it's up to you I'm just picking out different colors some of the leaves are lighter because they're on top some are darker because they're not getting as much light I might do for mine. I want a little bit of blue in the sky dotting in, dotting in a little bit here and there. Rather than the way this is, it's not as not the way I would do it. Nature. Not as good as me, you see. <laughs> no, that's not true. We all use nature. 
use it. And then uh, if you want to change it, you can change it. If you want to use your vast experience painting en plein air. <laughs> I'm having fun actually. I'm having fun doing this. See, I, I enjoy my painting, I really do. Enjoy it, it's fun. Right, I like this bit of green there. It's a little bit of light. I'm gonna, I quite like it actually. I'm gonna stick it in a bit in there. Must mean there's a, a bit of grass behind there that you can see just about behind the leaves behind the undergrowth etc 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 <laughs> bit of light sort of dulled the light a little bit but I think it's capturing too much of the imagination in the background, which I don't want it as much. I like a little bit, actually. I don't want as much now. So, sunlight. Sunlight. What kind of colour is that? Yeah. Well, I could use that and paint it in. Um, or, I could do this as well. Um, do a curves... Sort of a lightened, a bit warmer, a bit less blue in it, sort of a yellowish, and then uh, then get rid of it. Oh, wrong way. All right, and now I can paint on this using uh, using the white. So. I'm going to change it. I'm going to have the light sort of dazzling along here. Whew. Look at the light. Not as much as that. I'm going to hit that. Hit that bit there. Hit that edge. Oops. shadow there and maybe I'll glimpse a little bit in that maybe a little bit on there sort of goes around maybe like that and then maybe around there and then onto there Maybe a little bit there on a few of these green bits. Little sparkles along there. Maybe it would hit that a little bit there as well. Of these leaves, and then what I can do because you know that takes it so far for me, and I quite like that. Um, the next thing I can do actually is do something like the opposite. Is add in a little bit of darkness. So maybe this area isn't getting much. How about all of this here? He's got a bit of a shadow. All this, 
on this side. Underneath. Oh, this is darker up here. We can sort of darken off all this as well, apart from apart from areas that have uh, got a bit of uh, light dotted on. And uh, what I was thinking as well, let me do another layer. Got that green, got a bit yellower. Probably that. Let's have a look at that. Yeah can have some of that added on to some of these. Maybe the light is hitting on that sparkling there. And there. Maybe. You can do that. You can change things like that. Maybe even on in this undergrowth there's a few lighter spots that are being shown up. Maybe not. A bit too bright, aren't they? That's what I thought. A bit too bright. What's that look like? Hmm. Hmm. Probably prefer that. brings it in doesn't it um quite like that we'll get rid of this reference a minute and that'll uh, make us look at this more yeah I quite like it actually this is a good uh, good sort of scene that I could use for another book um quite like the way the light goes in onto this tree. I could do all that and then I could have something here like uh, if for instance well let's just do this a sec Use that background again. <laughs> and then I could do go like that with that tree. Could take it a bit further out and then uh could start playing around with this side as well. <laughs> start building that forest a little bit. Yeah, you can you can do all sorts. But that's a good start. Good start using reference and then I can do something something here. Maybe I've got like the main character or something that's in the book that's gonna be there. Um, just as an example, 
So that's the middle of the book. So I probably want my character there. Um, let's say it was somebody going through you know, like a uh, sort of a some random person in a sort of a red hood or something. <laughs> oh, this looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Um, in blue, maybe. Maybe in blue and red. Red hood. Red arm, like that. <laughs> Carrying a basket of something. But anyway, <laughs> that looks weird. Whoop. But you, you get you get the uh, idea. I just uh, thought I would show you a little uh, glimpse into what I've been doing. Um, oops, what did I just do? Just gives you a glimpse into what I was doing. This is a lot of the times how I paint when I'm doing characters because uh, I'm not very good at it. I'm more of a, you know, I'm a, I'm a background person. So doing characters, I enjoy it. Um, I think it's my, uh, it's what I'm always challenging myself to do. Oops. <laughs> Why should What's going on there? Mm -hmm. Got my hands out there. Um, um, basket. What would, why would you be carrying your basket like that, though? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh, well. There we go. Basket. And there's a, probably a wolf after her or something. But anyway. <laughs> but that, this is how I been painting on the computer anyway um, sometimes I use reference to create the tree like this sometimes I just make it up out of my head but I hope you enjoyed this episode it was a bit of fun and uh, <laughs> do I really uh, yeah I could have her there she could be there and there could be a wolf in amongst there as well um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this little process video of me uh, painting on the computer so I'll say thanks very much for watching this episode and I'll see you at another one cheers bye <laughs>